<laughs> like, in comparison, this guy is a pushover compared to Blub. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? I respect it. I, I respect it. Here we go again. Here we go again. Playing the lost. Enjoying life. Maybe I shouldn't take Quatch out on the first item room. I don't know. I was ambitious, okay? It was ambitious. I, I like that item, but sometimes you need a little bit more to make it pop. It's, uh, that low fire rate really did me in there. Or the fact that I'm, for some reason, horrendously tired today. Hi, how are you doing, by the way? I, I always get ahead talking about myself. But I, uh, forget, neglect to check in on, on somebody else. <laughs> how are you doing? Hope you're doing good. All that good stuff, right? Hope you're holding up all right. I am just a little sleepy today. I don't know why. I mean, I did stay up a little late. Botfly is just kind of good. I don't know why my... Lost it like the Uck face for that. That's like, that's a, it's a good fucking item, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know why I'm so, like, so sleepy today. Like, yeah, I maybe went to bed a little late, but it's not like I went to bed super late. I am evidently too tired to remember that there's fucking fires in that room I just ran straight into for no fucking reason. What's wrong with me, man? But yeah, you know, I been yawning like crazy, though. Like, yawning is, is wild. Because I don't think, has science figured out why, why humans yawn yet? Do we, do we know that yet? Or are we still completely clueless as to why exactly we do it? Like, yeah, we know that it's associated with being tired. Duh, everybody does it when they're sleepy. But how come, right? How how come that's like... Th that That's the connection for it. it. It just seems a bit arbitrary. I heard once, and I don't know if I can believe this at all, mind you. I, I think it's... It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. That it is a form of our body regulating our body temperature. And that's why it's like so in impulsive and you can't really control it. Like you can't really yawn on command. Speaking of... I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know why I've been yawning so much today, man. I'm actually not even that tired. It's weird. So maybe there is some credence to it, right? Maybe there is another reason for it. But I don't, I don't believe that. I just don't buy it. Like, isn't that what sweating is for? Sweating exists to regulate your body temperature? Again, I did the mistake of coming in here. I will never learn. <laughs> At least there's no good items in that shop. So I'm not burnt by it too much, but man. Say, so yeah, I don't I don't know, man. I don't know why we yawn. It seems... It seems curious. I ran into the damn fire again. I... I swear to God, hold on, let me just clear these out. Just in case I don't accidentally run into them again for no fucking reason. Who are we fighting? Duke of Flies with no offensive capabilities at all, except a botfly, which is really not that offensive. And it failed me there as well! Okay, I never should have trash-talked you, botfly, I'm sorry, I guess. What the fuck, man? I need to get out of here. This is hell. Bro is spawning way too many flies, I've barely done any damage to him, I'm too busy fighting the fucking things he's spawning before being able to kill him! Stop spawning so many flies. I don't have bombs either to take care of you, man. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be a Sisyphean fight, man. This shit's gonna take forever. Ah! Use botfly as an orbital. That's... it. You tend to forget that it also does orbital damage. Yes, stay in the corner. Be, be stuck down there. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Please die, please die. Come on, you're like two shots away from there. Okay, thank God. Hey, at least I got a damage up out of it. Let's go, dude. Down we go. Ooh, a lot of money, too. I'm gonna save that for the next floor, though. My shop on this floor simply wasn't that exciting. I'd rather use it on here. Math. Uh, you know what? Sure. Bring a friend along for the ride. <laughs> Belly jelly. Yes, thank you. That will keep me safe. All right. At least in, in some extents, yeah. I would love another key to go to the shop with as well. I should have maybe gone to the shop first, because there could have been a key for sale. But I don't want to risk that, you know? I, I'd rather not... Run that risk of uh, running into some problems there. Lovely, it's Duke of Flies, but with leeches instead. And I'm starting to regret taking the shots beat down. It's actually making it quite a bit harder. I gotta get so much closer to actually consistently hit my shots. Or elite them much more, which is also a bit annoying to do. Come on, just stop. Stop hopping. Stop jumping. Just die. Just die, brother. Please. Thank you. That was actually so much easier, though. Because he didn't spam as many enemies. I love me a glass eye. What do we have in here? I'll check. I'll check. I'll check. Ooh, knife. Hmm. See, that's tempting, because I kind of actually want to go Angel Deals today, so me going in here is already, you know, a bit of a bad idea. I don't know, man. I just don't like Knife. So ignoring Knife, is the Pact worth losing Angel chances for? Not really. Neither are those. That's a bummer, but it is what it is. Perhaps maybe this uh, challenge... Uh, never mind. Range up is not what I was hoping for. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's check what this item room has while we're at it. Dunce cap. Interesting. I shall reroll this first, though. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Fine. That's the ED6 for you. It loves to delete items. I am very blessed to have not been having to reroll that much yet, so I don't have to worry about the whole uh, disappearing items shtick as much anyway. Boom. All right. They look. Okay, cool. <laughs> the one item disappeared that I could see, and the other one was bad. 
I, I don't want to go off on the ED6, okay? But you've really been letting me down, you know? Like, you've really... Like, what, is it 20% chance? 25% chance? That's... It's been a little bit more, though. That being said, Depression did good job on that fight specifically right now. Bomb's a key. Wow, that was so useful. <laughs> Drop plug don't do nothing for me. Ah, uh, let's just fight the boss right now, whatever. There's my perfection. There's my tears up as well. What do we have in here? Might as well check. Uh, well, nine lives is kind of worth it. That I gotta take. I can't pass that up. Knowing myself and how bad I, <laughs> I can be sometimes. That's not a bad thing to take. What about rerolling in here? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. In some ways. These fucking ghosts, man. I, for some reason, they love picking up pots. I feel like these ghosts actually have like a priority in which types of rocks they pick up. I feel like they always prioritize picking up pots first for some reason. It's very funny. Eyesore? Come on, I can do better than that. Boom. All right. Give it up for the ED6, everybody. Really powerful item. Uh, if luck is on your side. If RNG is in your favor. If the cosmic microwave background radiation that is being sampled for random numbers, which... I don't know, that's probably not how Isaac's RNG works, to be fair. Let's be honest, I don't know what language Isaac is coded in. I know the, the mods use Lua, or like the console uses Lua or whatever. But I, I, that's just a scripting language, I doubt that the game is coded in, that would be pretty strange. Anyway, uh, you know, it probably just uses a standard library random function for all the RNG. I'd be very surprised if they did anything convoluted or complex for that because you, you'll always like whenever you bring up like oh yeah i use the random number generator for this or whatever you always get some nerd computer scientist dude you know so people that are like basically doing the same thing that i'm studying but i don't feel like i'm akin with them anyway <laughs> you always get somebody like that saying well actually you know like the random number generators and computers aren't truly random like yeah dude we get it of course they're not truly random there's no such thing as something that's truly random because everything follows the fucking laws of physics if you think about it Quantum mechanics, maybe, like, something kind of random, but it's still express expressible by an equation. So even if there's, like, a 50% chance and a particle is there and a 50% chance it's in that state when you observe it, is that random? No, because you know all the states it can be in. Is it random which one it picks? Well, kinda? I don't know. Like, that's maybe the most true random thing we've got, right? So I suppose if you wanted to have true RNG, you would have to have a quantum computer. Yes, okay, we understand that. And as far as I'm aware, the most sophisticated forms of sampling random numbers are shit like cosmic microwave background radiation or something like that, that, you know, is so irregular or whatever that it can be sampled at. Look, man, as long as the number is seemingly random enough, as in it doesn't spread out the same number over and over, and it, uh, you know, has some uniqueness to it. All that matters. For the sake of, for the sake of the use case of the number, it's random enough, okay? We don't need your fucking pedantic ass being like, oh, it's not true random. Like, come on, man. Next, you're gonna tell me that water's not actually all that blue. It's only blue because of the sky being reflected on the ocean. And that's why we consider the water to be blue and also the way it kind of refracts light a little bit. But for the most part, it's actually transparent. Water doesn't actually have a color? No way, what? The sun isn't yellow? No way. Science, dude. I actually like having extra trinket slots as, uh... Being stuck with perfection exclusively is a bit annoying. Okay, well, there goes the other shop item. To the ether. Sent away. Should've just taken it to begin with, but oh well. Oh boy! A secret room pedestal. Would you look at that? Roll me. Mm, Isaac's tomb. An item I almost never take because I think it only- I think I've, talk, I've said this before. It only shows up in secret rooms for some reason. And it's not even that good of an item. <laughs> So you almost exclusively, like if you have access to rerolls, you almost exclusively end up rerolling into Isaac's tomb. And almost always end up rerolling it again. Because it's just... Yeah, you know? Such a nothing item. I've gone on record saying that kidney stone ain't my favorite item either. And uh, I'll probably continue that trend here. For now, I got a priority reroll, which is you. Okay. Alright, I see how it is, ED6. I understand. I should have just taken Isaac's tomb, evidently. Here we go, here we go, watch this, it's probably gonna... If it only deleted the left, right item, I'll just take this. Kitty Stone is only ever really fun if you have rock bottom, but then the problem is like, even if you have rock bottom and you constantly get the high fire rate, the annoying part is that you still occasionally have kidney stone procking, so you still have to stop shooting every once in a while and like charge that shit up or whatever, and it's annoying. Hey man, stop shooting bombs at me, just die. Trapophobia looking ass. Trapophobia has always been an interesting phobia to me. I think it's the fear of holes, right? Like when... <laughs> I always found it funny when people like post these fucking crazy ass pictures of like something 
like something normal looking that's got like a bunch of holes photoshopped onto it. And, you're, and they're like, if you find this image creepy or disturbing, you might have trypophobia. Nah, brother, that shit just looks creepy because a hand isn't supposed to have a ton of tiny holes in it that look like that. That shit just looks weird. It's not supposed to look like that at all. If you find that disturbing, it's because you're a normal human being that understands what a healthy piece of skin should look like. Not because you have trypophobia. Maybe I, maybe if, I guess if you don't have like an un uncharacteristically fearful response of it, you don't have trypophobia, sure, but finding an image like that disturbing is still gonna be... is still gonna be disturbing, right? It's, it's normal. No normal human being is gonna be like, oh yeah, that, uh, that just looks like... It just looks normal, uh, Lamel. Happened to my buddy John. He's, he's got a... he's got a hand like that. Like, come on, man. That's absurd. At least that's what people used to post under trypophobia. I haven't seen anything like that in ages. Like, literal years. So, I think people have finally realized that maybe it's not the... not the cool thing anymore or something like that. But there was an era on the internet, like, 10-ish years ago, when I would see an image like that once every few weeks. It was... it was kind of crazy. I don't know why people were so obsessed with holes back then. <laughs> Just like really weird and creepy looking shit for no fucking reason. Just ended up on fucking like 9gag or whatever. Yeah, I'll admit it. I used 9gag when I was like fucking 12. Guess what? That was 13 years ago. Did you know that 9gag is still up? Did you know the site still exists? And it's almost exclusively, I can guarantee you, I haven't actually checked it in ages, but I can guarantee you it's probably almost exclusively used by weirdos and by boomers. I have one key. Come on, I can't open that shit, man. I got one key. Just like how Facebook has exclusively become used by boomers, that's it's gonna be a similar story. And I think Twitter is having that same that same process happening to it. I think we're like witnessing the Facebookification of Twitter. Slowly but surely. It's either that or, you know, the heat death of the internet, as people have dubbed it, where it's like or like dead internet theory. Where every post you see on social media is actually just made by a bot. This is the third time on this run I've gotten this exact curse room. What's wrong with you, game? What the fuck? So, you know, that could uh, also happen, which would be pretty funny. Also, I remember once going on 9gag a few years ago, uh, and on the fucking home page, on the front page, they would just have fucking, like, like, live leak type videos. There was, like, a video of, of a dude just jumping off of, like, a crane. Like, 50 stories and just splattering on the pavement. That was just a video on 9gag. It wasn't even censored. It wasn't even like, oh, this is NSFW. I think, at least. I don't remember it being tagged. It was just there. Oh, cool. Tears up. Let's go. So, uh, yeah, you know. I wonder how that site's doing today. I wonder if that's actually still up. Boom! Alright, it's gone. So be it. You could have turned into a damage up. You could have turned into anything that would be useful to me. But no, you chose to just dis uh, disappear entirely. What about you? Smelter? Sure. <laughs> now I got two trinkets of space. Speaking of, I don't know why I'm leaving trinkets behind still. <laughs> Considering I have trinket space. <laughs> Wasn't it? They're like, well, there was one down here. Oh, it's poker chip. Never mind, right? Yeah, no, don't care about that. Never mind. That's why I left it, because it's a bad trinket. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't care about Dark Bum at all. He doesn't really do anything for me. I don't care about Blood Eye. Chocolate Milk. Ah, uh, sure, I guess. Guess I'll be tap shooting today. I'm sure my hand won't, uh, won't hate me at all for it. At least I've already reached, like, the tier cap, so, you know, it's a bit better. I'm just waiting for this next Devil Deal to have some crazy shit inside of it. Like a pound of flesh, or, um... Maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know, uh, Damocles or something like that. It'd be, be, be cool. Be, be suit me pretty well, just saying. Well, buddy, get out of your minecart and start running because I'm about to murder you. Hey, that's my third syringe. Let's go. What do we got here? That's a pound of flesh. I can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I just need restock and we've got ourselves a crazy run on our hands. I got one more reroll in the shop. I still got a few shops up ahead as well. Dude, come on. I want this combo so badly. That's still good. That's still good as well. I'll gladly take that. What are we dealing with here, first of all? Uh, rerolls. That's what we're dealing with. Alright. And another reroll on this, please. Uh, Tammy's head. Come on. Come on, dude. I'll open these. I'm I'm not afraid. Take a stand. Everybody. I don't know why I keep referencing this Eminem song. It's not even like... I'm not even a fan of Eminem, but whatever. Ugh, Golden Razor. Speaking of Eminem, remember that one time he rhymed orange with banana? Bornana was so proud of himself for being able to rhyme orange with banana. <laughs> what's this? What's the deal with that? Like I only like heard about that, you know, fucking like secondhand. I never even listened to the song or whatever. But like, how, how did that? How, what, what was what was bro cooking about? Like, what was what was he thinking? How how did it come to the point where it's like, oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna brag about being able to rhyme orange with banana and then making like a nonsense word up. But with this high fire rate, I can actually kind of just charge these tears as well. Do a lot of damage. 
Vibrate of high of fully charged shocky tears is actually kind of good. Maybe I don't have to tap through for once. Maybe I'll treat shock the milk a little different for once, you know? I'm so glad that you've kept re-rolling that item room, but come on, actually give me something good, please. I've been getting trash items over and over and over. I appreciate it, nonetheless. I appreciate all the work you put in and all that. <sighs> wow, we're really going through it, huh? Ah, uh, sure, let's go for it. Ah, fuck. I gotta actually get those in there and actually doing something, man. Clear that chain and all that. Okay, I cleared out the mask. That's important. The mask is the annoying part. Screw that attack. Fuck that attack. Fuck you. I hate you for that one. Watch out. Yeah. Jesus, man. I gotta kill a heart. I gotta kill a heart. Kill a heart. Kill a heart. Okay, nice. <laughs> Whoo. Damage. Lovely. I appreciate that you haven't been deleting stuff yet. Come on. Okay. Thank God. Finally, a good item. <laughs> it took a while before we got there. But we got there eventually. Shot speed down. Actually completely fine. My shot speed was way too high anyway. Time to reroll matchbook as well. Although I should really be wasting these charges on a shop. I haven't found sh said shop yet. So hey, more more something. Range. Cool. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Probably should have rerolled that again. Probably should have checked what it's actually going to give me instead of just grabbing it. This is where the money happens. We got to keep rerolling that shop, man. I got to find restock and the next shop has got to be fucking crazy. Oh, BFFs is kind of good, but nah, I need restock. Cool. Yeah. Why not? I guess we're going down today. I guess we're going down today. Roll this. Uh, do I need speed? No, I don't. Not at all, actually. I have no use for you. And I have no charges left to be gained. Uh, I don't think my restock dreams are gonna come true, fellas. I don't think they're gonna come true. I guess I'll just take BFFs. Make my familiars better. With, uh, which in this case entails God knows what for bot flight. I don't know what it's gonna do if it's better, but I'll, I'll accept it. Marbles? Eh, I can't use its gulping effect, so it's just gonna drop me some trinkets, which I don't really care for. Oh. That's too late! It's too late for pay to win, though. It's not gonna do anything. Yeah, it, it won't- it won't work now, because it's the last treasure room. Actually, well, I- Actually, I'm gonna get a treasure room on Shoal. <laughs> so, actually... No, it does have a use. It'd be crazy a restock machine in my shop on this floor, but I guess, again, it's probably just gonna be greed. So, uh, yeah. Also, I've wasted charges. I should've used these on this. Okay. Yeah, crime or trip banana, or nana. You know what? Give me some luck out of this. Why not? You know what? Yeah, fat as the soul of a zazel here. Huge, huge. Actually, a great use of it. Saves me a lot of time. Crime orange trip or nana, <laughs> banana boar nana. <laughs> like what? There's a shop. Okay. Well, how much you want to bet? This is guaranteed to be greed. Like, I am almost certain. I haven't seen a single greed fight yet. Oh my god, it's not, and it's got. Black candle, which I have to take. I just have to. I, I have no choice. I'm sorry. The, the restock dream is over. I'll be real sad if I actually end up finding a secret room on this floor and it has a beggar inside that gives me a uh, restock. But like, you know, it just kind of feels like something that would happen to me. What do we got? Pink and shears. Decap attack. Libra. Bit of a range down, but other stats up. That's totally fine by me, man. <laughs> That's A-OK -okay by me. I don't mind that at all. Cheers for that, man. Time for the boss fight. Hello, mom. I shall, uh... Shoot you with a bunch of chocolate milk tears. And all that. It's doing good DPS, man. You know, I got a tap fire for it. At this point, thanks to Libra. It's getting my damage a bit more. And my tier rate, for that matter. This is actually pretty good now. No, oh, almost right into that. Thank God. Thank God. Okay, we're good. Give me that. And down we go. Another challenge room, of course. What do we have? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Especially with my fire rate. Oh god, yeah, Contagion goes crazy on that. That's- that's true. You know what else is like a damning thing? A damning realization I made recently and... <sighs> Pardon me if this get- it's getting a little real. It's not the intent at all. It's actually supposed to be a bit comedic, so... Please laugh. <laughs> please laugh at the end of this, no matter how you feel about it. Um, I think my dad's attention span might be more cooked than mine, and that's crazy because I'm a zoomer and he's a boomer. But, you know, like, I've realized this that no matter what, and maybe this is why I inherited it from, but no matter what is happening downstairs, if my dad is in the living room, there has to be some form of background noise going on at all times. Either he's got the TV on, or he's watching some kind of random ass video that he's been recommended on YouTube. Like, he's the prime citizen of just letting the YouTube algorithm carry him. And also, for some reason, form every opinion he has, which is, you know, it's the boomers on the internet, I guess. They just... I don't know what it is with boomers on the internet. Like, they, they just eat up anything that they're fed in a YouTube video. Like, if he sees something in a YouTube video, he just believes it to be the truth. If some YouTuber talks about something, it must be true. It's gotta be correct, no matter what. A lot of it is political opinions, in which case, you know, I don't really pay too much mind, because at the end of the day, he's fucking 
63 years old, so like who cares, right? <laughs> old people are always gonna have some questionable political opinions, although for the most part we actually align on the most stuff we actually agree, so that's funny. But you know, I feel like his attention span is completely cooked. He just has to always have some kind of background noise. Like I... The other day I went downstairs, he was in his workshop, not in the, not in the living room, the workshop, a couple of rooms over, you know? Radio was running in there, I walked into the living room, radio on the same channel is running in there as well. Like, bro has to have, like, fucking radio ads blasted into his brain at all times. Like, radio is actually a media, I will say, that is completely cooked, right? There's absolutely no shot. People actually still enjoy listening to radio stations. The advent and proliferation of music streaming has made the radio completely obsolete. Oh man, I would love red key here actually. Ah oh, fuck, well I can use it I guess. I'm not likely to get more charges on it anyway, so hold on, let me... Let me explore the full floor first. Actually, you know what? Actually, it might be next to the challenge room. Ah, no, there's a bunch of skinny rooms nearby, so I don't know actually. Maybe that's a good thing? I... Look, I kinda know the red key spawning rules. It's still... A bit obtuse to me. Hold on. I'm just gonna use it here and I'm just gonna pray for the best. If not, it probably would have been from the the vault room. Okay, it's not here. It's probably the vault room then. Anyway. Yeah, like, radio is fucking, like, cooked, right? It's It must be, like, it, it should be obsolete media. The only reason people still listen to radio is because it a radio comes in every car. <laughs> and if in case you don't want to hook up your phone yet, I guess you'll just listen to radio. Or if you don't care about listening to music at all, you just want to have some form of background noise. Sure, right? Whatever. But music streaming has made that completely obsolete. If you're listening to the radio to listen to music, you're insane. They play three songs, two of which are Ed Sheeran songs that are in the script, that they're, they all sound the same, but you can like kinda tell, oh yeah, I've heard this one before, but you wouldn't ever, ever be able to tell you the name of it. Like, I still don't know what Shape of You actually is. I know it's like one of his most famous songs. I don't know what how it goes. I got no clue. I, I got nothing, you know? I'll probably recognize it if I hear it, and then if you told me that it was Shape of You, I would probably believe you. Anyway, I'm getting, getting sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, radio's cooked, man. Like, honestly, if you're listening to radio still in the year 2023 of our lord, I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Flip would also have been great about eight floors ago. Oh, well. Now that aside, uh, doesn't Horror Babylon work on the Lost? Sure does. Nice. Beautiful. But yeah, it's it's crazy, man. The, the attention span cookedness. I, I I honestly think I just inherited it from him. Like I feel like the only reason my attention span is the way it is because I I'm genetically preconditioned for it. Who knows? Maybe he's got ADHD and gave it on to me, right? Who would know? We're both adults. We're never gonna get diagnosed for that shit anyway. And I would never, as, as I've done said many a times, I don't want to be the type of guy that's like self-diagnosing a mental illness uh, without. You know, getting professional consultation about it, let alone uh, self-diagnosing, or much rather, third-party diagnosing it in somebody else. Who cares, at the end of the day? We're still functional adults, right? That's all that matters. There's my item room. What do you got for me? A restock machine. Though 8-inch nails is kind of good already. It's also- t it's just kind of good already. I can't really, like, re-roll that or anything. Like, what's the point? That's damning, man. Maybe it's just a sign of dementia? <laughs> I mean, he's getting of age. You think he's just gonna get dementia now? Oh man. I do not look forward to having to deal with that. Both of my parents getting dementia, or at least uh, and either one of them, but probably both, let's be honest. They're already kind of forgetful. Again, maybe that's where I got my forgetfulness from. Maybe that's just like a genetic thing, an inherited thing, right? Both of my parents tend to be a little forgetful sometimes, so maybe that's why I, as a person, I'm kind of forgetful. Like, I tend to forget things quite easily. But yeah, uh, I, I sure hope that I won't have to deal with that <laughs> at all. I wouldn't wish it upon anybody. Certainly not myself. Mom's bracelet, come on now. Steam sale? I mean, literally has a use, but not useful, you know? I have the money anyway to buy everything on the darkroom. I don't I don't need the steam sale for it. So, instead, I shall go for another reroll. Options? Sure. That's extra chests, potentially. It's actually getting kind of annoying. Like, the amount of times my dad sees something on YouTube, he finds a random video that's recommended to him, it changes his entire worldview about a specific topic, and it just becomes the truth. He just believes it, and that just becomes how how it is. I'll gladly take all these many times, they're all great. Matter of fact, I don't mind using Sack Alter to just send some of these familiars away, even if it means getting rid of Botfly. It turns out it actually only got rid of Botfly. It doesn't even count perfection as a familiar. That's annoying. And by perfection, I mean depression. Oh, well, I guess I'll reroll these. First eye, come on. Uh, all right. Yeah, little Dumpy is good and Mulligan is as well. Let's go, dude. I'm down for these two, though. Any damn day of the week. That's more tier rate, potentially. Okay, it doesn't actually do anything because I've hit the tiers cap, right? Makes sense. And options is pulling weight. Lead pencil is crazy here. I sure hope it's actually gonna. Jesus Christ, this room is hell, by the way. 
Not sure if it's actually gonna work. Yeah, there you go. It is working. I didn't really need to take that, but oh well. Not like it does anything for me. Loving these chests, though. Roll these. They are bad. I will re-roll them again. Useless as well. Let's just fight you real quick. This should be an okay fight, yeah. Just wanna see what else I can gather on this run, you know? What else, uh, in terms of item items I can find here? Perhaps you've got something exciting for me? Wow, it's all trash. It's, it's all awful. Now this, though. <laughs> now this is pretty exciting. Sure, why not? A little bit of stats out of you. And... Ludo. No thank you. Fire mind it is, I guess. Ah, uh, we're done here. And by that I mean. By that I mean we're fighting Mega Satan. That's what I mean by we're done here. <laughs> you think I wouldn't cheat? You've watched this channel for enough time that, that you know that I would absolutely do this just because I think it's funny. The amount of fire mind tears I'm shooting is kind of crazy and they're all exploding and fuck. Funny stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, this kind of shreds, huh? Too bad Pound of Flesh didn't uh, happen with the restock synergy again. That's another synergy that I'm still very much looking forward to having someday. Is Pound of Flesh and restock. You can't get this. Can you die, please? Thank you. My god. Gotta stick back here, otherwise I'm gonna be in trouble. I am one hit away from death, technically. I still gotta be a bit careful, you know? Broken Modem is doing a wonderful job keeping me safe, especially the longer these tiers travel, the high or the likelihood that they disappear, which is doing wonderful stuff for me. But the DPS is uh, only remotely there. I gotta tap a little bit faster. Yeah, that'll do. Oh my god. What if an auto clicker or an auto tapper, I guess, would really work for this? Maybe it would. Oh well, there goes Mega Satan. It's just that easy. Would you look at that? Nice run. <laughs> nice run. It's been fun. I hope you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have. And I hope I can see you again tomorrow. If you have liked the video, like the video. You know, press the thumbs up button or something like that. Apparently. According to what every other YouTuber I watch always tells me, it helps the algorithm or something, so... Hey! Go ahead, right? Become a part of the machine, be a cog! Or whatever. Yeah, anyway, bye, see ya.